We're going to be talking about the college route versus the non-college route. So what is best for you and help you make the best decision for your money. If you want to know which way is faster, the non-college route or the college route, the non-college route is. So from looking at the providers of education for a G2, uh, I see here that Highmark, their full-time course is 12 weeks, full-time. Hers in college, 24 weeks, full-time. In college, to get your G2, not including your G3, is 32 weeks. If you were to get your G3 on top of those, you would have to add a few more weeks. Uh, which option is cheapest? So obviously, a Highmark is going to be the cheapest, coming in at about 4180 Hers in college is approximately $5,000. In college after the three semesters or two semesters, depending on the college, will come up to $9,000. Now those costs are all inclusive, including the modules, except for the college. The modules will, you will have to add about an extra $1,000. And also tests, you still have to pay for that is not included with most colleges as well, which is about two fifty. dollars So who provides the best education? So I would say the people that provide the best education would be yourself right? The only way you're going to learn this trade is by having a genuine interest in actually going on YouTube and figuring it out, getting, you know, in field experience, going to contractors, being a helper or being some sort of function in their business to learn the ins and outs, uh, reading the modules, actual, actually studying the modules and actually understanding what the modules are talking about too, right? That is how you become a good technician, always learning right? You're not going to become the best and greatest G2 from just reading. You're not become, you're not going to become the best, greatest gas fitter ever just with infield experience. You need both. So you are ultimately your best teacher. But if we're going to like basically compare college teachers, high mark teachers, I would say college professors, because most of the college professors are those that hold through on three A's that have a lot of licensing, that have a lot of experience, that have been vetted and that are proper for that course. Next question would be, is there a downside to choosing an educator other than college? Well, yes. So a college will offer you either two things. They'll offer you either a certificate or a diploma. Whereas these fast track pro programs will just offer you like a G2 or G3. In this case, it would just be the G2. If you're just looking just to get your license and get into the field as fast as possible and as cheap as possible, you're gonna to wanna to go the non-college route. But if you're looking to have a diploma, if you're looking to have in-field stability, that's college. Why? Because the reason for that is not only are you getting your G2, but you're probably also getting a certificate or a diploma. Well, what happens if 10 years or 15, down, 15 years down the line, you're working and your, your knees are just not the same. They hurt all the time, or your back, or this, that, the other, the wear and tear that your body goes through in this trade, is strenuous. What happens if you no longer want to do that anymore? What happens if you want to transition into an educational role, educating people? Or if you want to go into some sort of sales or some sort of management or some sort of role different than a technician, most of the people that you're going to be competing with are those with a diploma or those who have really set themselves apart from everyone else with their skill set. Now, if I were to do it all over again, would I go the fast track route or the college route? I would still go the college route. This is why, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of getting the achievements on the wall. I'm not a fan of paying the absorbent cost of college. I'm not a fan of paying the crazy amounts of money for fluffer classes, but I am a fan of the opportunity that it brings. I'm a fan of whenever I submit my application anywhere, the moment that they see that, you know, I have a college education and the licensing. I'm usually a guarantee higher. I'll always beat out the guys that just only have their G2s, right? So that's something you gotta think about is just being competitive and then also your future self. You gotta think about where you are today, how you wanna get there, how you're gonna learn everything, how you're gonna get the licenses, but then also, what about your future self? Is your future self gonna wanna do this for the next 20 years or are you gonna be able to? You might wanna, but you're not, you might not be able to because you're a body. So remember, take care of yourself, take care of your body, Go to college. I would suggest going to college. I wouldn't suggest getting a license as fast as possible unless you have a different ticket under your belt. Like if you're a plumber, try and get your gas license or if you're 
some some other trade just trying to get your gas license right but if you're brand new to the trades if you're looking to get in go the college route if you're and i can't stress that enough that if you're brand new to trades with zero experience in construction labor or helper or anything you're just brand new go to college they will teach you from scratch okay well that's my advice thank you very much